Deputy well, Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal's appeal in a case where she is fighting to keep her job until she turns 74 is set for hearing before the Supreme Court tomorrow following directions by the Chief Justice. Rawal is, however, opposed to the altering of dates for this hearing as it was initially scheduled for 24th June as directed by Justice Njokin Dongo. Rawal's objection to the altering of dates will now be heard at 10 a.m. I think what we have in the, in the Supreme Court is uh, uh, arises out of uh, questions that are deeply controversial questions. What is the legitimate retirement age of judges? Mm -hmm. uh, the Attorney General made his views known long before these cases went to court. Chief Justice Willie Mutunga, who Rawal accuses of contravening the law in first tracking her appeal, will be among the judges hearing the matter. Now, Mutunga's intervention has stirred more controversy as his action effectively shortened stay orders issued by Justice Ndongo. The Supreme Court will be sitting in the backdrop of leaked email correspondence between the Chief Justice and Justice Njokin Ndongo that point to a strained relationship between the two. This back and forth appears to have exposed some cracks between judges of the senior most court of the land. Those issues are being determined as they come along. Uh, there is no crisis whatsoever. Um, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I have heard, also expected to be heard tomorrow is an application by the Law Society to be enjoined as a friend of the court in the appeal by Rawal and Tunoy, who are both challenging a high court ruling that all judges should retire at 70. I believe, my lord, this matter raises, is in, in immense, raises immense public interest on the question of Amica's application by the Law Society. We've not been served with any application. There is no objection. And the five judge bench will pronounce itself as to whether to admit the law society or not that morning. Let all other parties who are intended to be amicus also serve the other parties. Activist Okio Tata as well wants his voice heard on the matter as he seeks to have the bench disqualify itself from handling it. Jackie Maribe, Citizen TV.